not doing things in your own strength. Why don't we want to do things in our own strength? Because Jesus said that we can do nothing without him. But he also said that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. When we do things in our own strength, it often leaves us tired and we often fail at what we do. A good example, I got 33% for a test that I tried to do in my own strength. Unfortunately, there was a second opportunity. Before I started studying for the second opportunity, I asked God why to study and how to study it because I really had no idea. And every time before I opened my books, I would pray to God and I would ask Him to give me strength. And then I read the test and during the test, I was just praising God the whole time. and I was trusting Him to give me the answers and to show me um, how to do the, the math. And then I got the results back and I got 92%. So own strength, 33%. God's strength, 92%. It's also good not to do relationships in your own strength. We went to, to, on holiday with some friends of ours who don't believe in God. And it was really difficult to spend time with them and to build a relationship with them because I couldn't talk about my favorite topic, which is God. And I can talk about God for hours and hours and hours, but trying to keep a conversation going that's not about God for me is really difficult. And it, was, it felt like, as though we were talking to a wall the whole time, every time I did talk about God. And after about a week, I just got so tired of it and I told God, Lord, I really can't do this in my own strength anymore. And I just trusted God and I gave my, all my expectations to Him. And He really blew my expectations away when about an hour later, one of the guys told us exactly what he believed and why he believes it and um, why he goes to church, because he goes to church, he just doesn't believe in God, and why he spends time with Christians. And it was really amazing, because all I did was pray. At the end of last year, I was put in charge of all the small groups in our residence. And everything was going well until about four months later I realized that of the 30 plus girls who went to church, only about 12 of them went to small group. And this was a bit of a problem because you can't just go to church once a week and expect to grow. And I didn't really know what to do about it because I didn't want to nag people to go to small group. So I just say to God, Lord, please just change their hearts, that they will realize that they need small group, that they can't just go to church. And then a week and a day later, one of the girls came to me and asked me whether I was going to intercession the next morning and wanted to lift, because a group of them decided to go. Now, usually I'm the only person in Rez who went to intercession at 5 o'clock, 5.30 on a Friday morning. And that week, there were six of us. And as we drove back, all the other girls in, in the car didn't go to small group. And they were complaining about how difficult it is to only go to church on Sundays and not get input through, during the week. And they were really missing small group and they wanted to go to small group. And I didn't know what to do. My jaw just dropped because all I did was pray just once. And God just came through. So that brings me to the next point, praying. Praying is really important in, in not doing things in your own strength. Because if you don't do things in your own strength, you do things in God's strength, which means you, you do God's will. And to know God's will, you have to pray and ask of Him what His will is. And it's also really important to know what your job is, what God wants you to do. Because there's a lot of things to be done, but you only have a very small part to play in that. Like Paul said, some people plant the seeds, some people water the seeds, but only God lets grow. So it's really important to know what God wants you to do, because otherwise it will really leave you tired and it will fail and it will be difficult to do it. Because it's not in God's will and He's not helping you to do it. So to conclude, it's really important to pray and to partner with God and to do only what He tells you, nothing less and nothing more.